yeah. You know what? Speaking of super flexibility, like I actually took up uh, yoga to, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I took it up because I didn't actually take it up, uh, for, um, for the purpose of getting more flexible and, uh, you know, I actually took it up because I started meditating about maybe four months ago and now I'm really into meditation, but the meditation, um, practices that I, I do come from yoga. And then from there, like the meditation was helping me a lot with, uh, you know, my well being, the way I was processing things, my thoughts, my emotions and all that. So then I'm like, wow, this stuff really seems to work. And then the person who I was learning this from, um, was, uh, it's not just one person. It's also up, it has a foundation also. It's called the Isha Foundation. It, it's, it's, so then they talk about like yoga and the di different type of practices and how what they teach is a very classical ancient form of yoga that's really geared towards spiritual process. So I was like, oh, cool. But then they add, it added on top, like all the side benefits of it, you know, like, it, like uh, you heal faster, you become more um, um, in tune with your body. So the mind muscle connection, just like it, everything works better. And of course you recover faster from your injuries. If you have any, uh, it prevents injuries as well. And you also, this is pretty out there, but I'm like, Hey, I got nothing to lose. It actually makes you younger. It slows down the aging process, like radically, you know? So then I'm like, huh, okay. So I, I took up yoga for that reason, for, for to deeper, to, 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 uh, to get better at meditation and to get deeper into my meditation for spiritual reasons. And, but then I, with all the side benefits and I'm starting to feel it now. And I'm like, ah. Wait, so now I'm all into getting flexible again. And I'm excited about it because I'm like, man, if I could stay young and undo all the damage that I've, that I've done to my body throughout the years, you know, I'm going to have such an advantage over, uh, you know, other guys my age when I go compete against them, you know? So, right. uh, you know, it, it's all, it, so it all ties in. I'm like, okay, so I could get more spiritual, you know, and move towards enlightenment and I could kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> and brag about yeah. it on youtube there you, know, you so, go oh, oh yeah yeah so, so i'm all excited about that but yeah i know what you mean like um flexibility big big uh it's important yeah 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 and i owe it to my younger self to finally do it <laughs> finally get those full splits i've always gotten just enough of a split you know mm -hmm. obviously because i'm doing high kicks all the time but mm -hmm. i always wanted as a as a teen to have those like perfect beautiful splits and those where you could just hold your sidekick up from cold, from being cold, you know, yeah, and just yeah. stuff and, like that. And if you're able to do that, I think that you're, you'd be able to do the Van Damme thing, which is like go on two chairs and just, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. hang out. The over split. <laughs> yeah, for Make sure. Make a YouTube man. video in that position, you know? <laughs> That'd be great. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm, try, I'm working on it now. I'm actually filming the process. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start filming the process to like check my progress, but hopefully uh, I'll have some results. But if, if not, then that's okay. I'll try something different. I'm going to keep trying different systems until I can uh, figure out something that'll finally work for me. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, I think it's definitely possible, you know, because one thing I learned um, in regards to, um, to your body, your joints, your tendons and ligaments um, is that with time and consistency, you can, you can make your body do what you want it to do in terms of how it moves and flexibility and all that, you know, uh, it, they're like your tendons and ligaments are like obedient dogs with time and consistency, they'll turn around and they'll, they'll listen to you. And this is from, um, I, I learned this in, from, from the book, uh, the supple leopard. I don't know if you ever heard of that book. No, no. it's a really famous book. Actually. It's, um, it's written by Kelly Starrett. And this guy has like a PhD in uh, physiotherapy. He's all over the internet now. He has a thing called, um, uh, got what was it called? I think mobility, mobility wad. So, you know, and, and, and other things now, but, oh, and, and he has this other thing called the ready state and what he, he shows people how to get their mobility back, right. By doing it themselves so that they don't have to spend all that money, uh, like, you know, going to a physio, going into an osteo and, and, and whatnot. You know, so, uh, yeah, I got it from, from him. And a lot of athletes actually swear by his, a lot of people are, are helped by, you know, all the information and the books that he written on the topic. 
So yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. All that to say that it's possible, man. Like I got, I got injuries too. And I got like uh, lower back. I got, I got a laundry list of stuff that I need to take care of. And now I have this with, with what I know now. And I feel as though I'm on the right, I'm on the right track and that it's very possible for me to get back all this flexibility, this mobility, fix the injuries, at least maybe not a hundred percent, but pretty close.